Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and as you would have seen by the title, today I'm going to be playing with two palettes that I put up from Gourmand Girls. Um, so the first one is the Spectra, which is a collaboration between Gourmand Girls and Krista, Krista Rice Makeup. Um, it is such a beautiful colour story. So this is the Spectra palette. Am I holding that so you can see? I think so. Um, so that's the Spectra palette. And also I have the Galactic Gourmand palette. And this is a little six pan of multi-chrome, duochrome goodness. Yeah, this is what she looks like. Um, I'm not gonna give away any of my thoughts. I did create three looks as you all know by the title so um this is the final look look number three so yes if you would like to see how i created this look and two other looks and hear my thoughts on these two palettes then just keep on watching okay guys so i've primed my eyes with the ace beauté eyeshadow amplifying base in the shade light i love this and we're first going into the Spectra palette and I'm going to go into Butterfly Kisses. I have been so excited to try these palettes. And oh. So I do have the Sweet Shop palette from Gourmand Girls and I do love that. But then when I saw, well, in particular, the Galactic Gourmand palette, I was blown away, I had to have it. So yeah, I definitely will be doing multiple looks um, with these palettes. I wanted to have a palette with like the mattes in, it depends how many I end up doing because I do want to get this up like soon while while it's still new and fresh in everybody's minds but yeah so there will be at least three looks that you will know better than me at this point because if you're watching this then I filmed the rest this purple is beautiful I did toy with the idea of doing like extra looks by doing one on each eye a couple of times, but I don't know. I'm just I'm super excited to see like the whole look. Does that make sense? I hope so. Yeah, I'm just really packing this on at the moment mostly. That is absolutely stunning. I do love that this palette has a black in. So no matter what colours you go in with, you can deepen it up. I know we've all got blacks like in our collection, but I still do like to have one in the palette because then I'm not having to dip elsewhere. Does that make sense? <laughs> I hope so. Okay, and then I think to blend that out, I'm going to go in with Virgo. These shadows definitely have some good pigment because I literally tapped my brush in and then tapped the brush, tapped my brush in and then tapped off, and it's just yeah, a lot of pigment. It's such a beautiful pink. So yeah, it's completely kind of covering the purple as it goes over it. But that's okay, I'll bring the I can bring the purple back after. Yeah, this is blending out beautifully. I am I am not mad at this at all. I've got um, that bit there that's nothing to do with the eyeshadow 
and um, I've got a scratch there and it seems to be holding on to that so yeah that is not the eyeshadow that is my skin yeah. that's beautiful and then I'm gonna nip back in with butterfly kisses the purple just going to kind of pack on where it is already but then gently blend it up and out into the pink there so I do want to deepen up the outer V's so I'm going to take Corbin the black and I'm just going to take it on just a tiny little brush um, so I don't overdo it and I'm just going to wiggle that wiggle that around right in the lower part of the crease yeah that's that's what I was looking for okay, and then just going back in with butterfly kisses the purple just gonna Go over, go over where I've put the black just a little bit. And then just background the outside with that pink. Okay, I'm going to pop on a bit of the Kyma Cosmetics Glitter Primer and then we will head on into the Galactic Gourmand palette. So, just a moment. Okay, so Glitter Primer on and the first shade I'm going in with is Sirius. I'm so excited to try these. I haven't even swatched them, that's how good I've been. I've waited so that I could do it in the video. Ooh. Oh, this is pretty. And so foiled, look at that. Oh, yeah, okay. This is one shade that means business. Can you see the shift from like blue to purple? I hope so. It looks like it's got pink in there as well. It's like pink, blue, purple. Love that. I hope you can see the shifts the same same as I can. I don't know. I hope so. Um, this is stunning. And to look at it in the pan, it looks like it's going to be one of the least shifty, which makes me even more excited for the others. This, well, this is just stunning. Yeah, that is absolutely gorgeous. And I think for the rest of my lid, I'm going to go into um, M81. This one looks to be more flaky. But, oh, look at that. So you've got to kind of almost scoop it up onto the brush. But, oh. This is pretty. Yeah, it's very flaky. It's like, well, like flakes. They are little flakes. Oh, look at that. That 
is stunning. These two together are like magic. Look at that. Oh, that is something else. Ooh. Yeah, it's definitely if you're using a brush more of a scoop it up a little bit shade but as you can see it is well worth the effort i could just keep piling this on but i don't want to sit and just scoop out everything oh look at that that is just so beautiful yeah those those two together are magic I am loving this. I'm going to nip off and do my base and finish the top of my eyes and then I'll come back to do the lower lash line and inner corner and highlight. Inner corner and highlight, inner corner and brow bone highlights. Um, so yeah, if you'd like to see that, then just stay where you are. Okay guys, so my base is on. Everything that I have popped on my face will be listed in the description box below for if you wish to check that out. So, I am going to start working on the under eyes. Um, I didn't blend in the outer as much because I thought I'd do that at the same time as the lower lash line. So, I'm going to go back into Corbin, the black. And that is going to just go right, right kind of on the outer part of my lid and then the very outer part of my lower lash line. I'm just in love with these shimmers. I mean, don't get me wrong, these mattes are amazing, but they're something else. They are something else. And then I'm going to, ooh, or am I? Actually, I'm going to go into futuristic, 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 I can't say that, um, futuristic. I'm going to take that just on the edge of that black and then kind of all the way all the way to the inner part there. This is another amazingly beautiful pink. The, the um, Virgo, the first pink I used up up there. Um, that one's more of a pink pink. A pink pink? A purpley pink. And this is more of a pink pink. Crikey. Yeah, that is beautiful. Yeah, that's looking pretty. So for the inner part of under my eye, I'm going to go into Fantasy from the Spectral Palette. I think this is going to look beautiful. I'm taking that right, right in that inner part there. It's like a pink with some gold in. It reminds me of the Mogul shade a little bit from the um, Artitude Cosmetics VIP exclusive palette. It's a beautiful shade. And you can really see the pink and the gold. yeah that is beautiful i did want to make sure that i used some of the shimmers from the palette also yeah it's 
So for my inner corner and brow bone highlight, should I? Yeah, I'm going to go in with Twilight. I think it's kind of the obvious, the obvious one. I did um and ah about going with the Stardust, the more gold, but I, know, I just wanted the inner corner to be really kind of light and bright. Oh, and this is perfect. I think this palette is the perfect companion for the Galactic Gourmand palette. The two together just seem to be working some kind of magic. Beautiful. And I'm going to pop just a little bit of that right up under my brow there. Yeah, I am loving this. So I'm going to nip off and finish my face and then I'll come back to show you finished look number one. So don't go anywhere. Okay guys, so this is finished look number one. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Everything I've popped on my face will be in the description box below. So you can check that out should you wish to. But for now, I'm going to hand you on over to look number two. Okay, guys, so I have primed my eyes with the Ace Beauté Eyeshadow Amplifying Base. I have it in the shade Light, and I love it. So let's dip in. So I think the first shade I'm going in with is True Love. And I'm going to be taking that just kind of placing it more at the moment um if you can hear some funny noises jace is playing in the background he has a treat that he is kind of throwing around for each set as you do oh guys i have been a super excited to play with these palettes again um i mean i was excited to begin with but after using them for the first time i i've just been dying to do it again <laughs> okay so i'm next gonna go into futuristic i think yeah let's do that and I'm going to take that just on the just on the edge of the red there. I'm channeling my inner missa. Um I'm I wish I could do missus looks, but I do I do my best. <laughs> And then just doing the same, flicking it outwards. And then I'm going to go into Lilu, the orange. Serious guys, these shades are just stunning. Absolutely stunning. And then just flicking that out also. I'm not too worried about kind of the underneath because there will be, uh, I'll be cleaning that up when I do my base. Yeah, that's, that's a nice orange. I think the sun's out outside, so I'm kind of really feeling the kind of bright, bright colours. Let's 
seriously guys this palette has been not not a surprise that it was good because i was expecting to like it but that i love it this much yeah i don't think i was prepared for how much i was gonna fall in love with this palette the spectra it didn't actually say what i was going in with first but i think <laughs> i think you probably watched the first look if you like into the second look here but yeah the palette i'm using at the moment is the spectra it's a collab palette with Krista Rice makeup and um, sadly I have no idea who she is so apologies but whoever she is she did a great job with this colour story well both her and Gormand girls of course yeah so the next shade I'm going in with is sci-fi I was originally going to use this as like inner corner but I think this look is going to benefit from it being in the look. Don't you just love my way of describing things? <laughs> I'm just going to use that to kind of blend out the orange there. I'm not too worried about it being messy because I'm going to go in and do my base anyway, so we can just play. This is a nice yellow. It's showing up beautifully. I'm using a more fluffy brush because um, I don't want to kind of pack it on. I'm just using it to, to just blend blend out the orange you know, I nearly didn't get this I nearly picked up another one of the palettes for the mattes but boy am I glad I did now because this one is a beauty I'm just going to take a tiny brush and I'm going to go into Corbin and I'm going to use that to just deepen deepen the outer V Have to be just you know what I mean. I'm just gonna keep deepening right right in close. Oh yeah. I'm just starting to take some more shape. It's a hard life. Bless him. Hard life being a dog, isn't it, Jace? Yeah, this is this is starting to take some shape now, and I am. Um, I always find when I first start out, I question what I'm doing, but then I have to remind myself: you got to trust in the process. Trust in the process. Then I think I'm just going to go back through the colours, blend it till I'm happy, and then we will carry on. Okay, so I've finished the blending. I popped on some of my Kyma Cosmetics Glitter Primer. I love it. And the first shade I'm going to go in with is Europa. That's out of the Galactic Gourmand palette, of course. And I'm just going to place that on the outer part here. These shadows are absolutely something else. Just look at that. They are stunning. Oh, look at that. I love all the shifts you get in these because this is like red pink orange and that is pretty much what i've done um with the mats anyways so 
I'm getting a little bit matchy matchy today. That is absolutely stunning. So I'm next going to go into Luna. I'm super, super excited to try this one. Oh, look at that. So at certain angles you've got that kind of, I don't know if it'll show better in here, there's like purple, red kind of reflex in this, or shifts, shifts I should say. So I'm just going to tap it, tap it into the, the shimmer there, oh wow, okay. Well, we are four in to this palette, four shades out of the six, and I am already obsessed. Just wow, what an amazing little palette. There might only be six shades, but they are six shades that pack a huge punch just look at that absolutely stunning and i'm going to quickly go back in to the spectra palette and i'm going to go in with true love first and i'm going to Pop that just kind of right on the edge to blend it sort of into that black. These palettes just go together beautifully. I am loving this. I'm going to nip off and clean up, pop on my base, and then we'll come back and we'll do the lower lash line together. So just stay where you are. Okay guys, so I've got my base on and I'm going to make a start on the under eyes. I'm going to first go into Corbin, the black. And I'm just going to take just a little bit, just right up, right up in this outer part here. And then I'm going to go into True Love to blend that out. This, well, both of these palettes are just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. They're just performing so well. I can't even... Just beautiful. And then I'm gonna go into Lilu, the orange. Honestly, these are absolutely stunning. Then going into sci-fi, the yellow. Looks a little bit crazy now, but it'll come together, I promise. Oh, that is looking awesome. Right, what do I want on the inner part? There? So for the inner part of my lower lash line, I'm gonna go into Stardust out of the Spectra palette. 
and I am spraying that so that I don't get any fallout. And the shimmers in this Spectra palette are really nice. Really, really nice. And we'll get around to using this on its own at some point. I was just so desperate to try the Galactic palette. Uh, uh. And now I'm even more excited to try this on its own. So I'm absolutely loving how this is looking. I'm going to nip off and finish my face and then we'll come back to show you finished look number two. So just stay where you are. Okay guys, so this is finished look number two. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you have a favourite so far? Hmm. I'm now going to hand you on over to look number three. So my eyes are primed with the Ace Beauté eyeshadow amplifying base in the shade Light. I love this. And first off, I'm going into the Spectra palette. And I'm going to go into Corbin, the black. This black is a really good black. I think I've used it in all the looks so far. Um, yeah, I think today... Today it's playing a bigger role. Does that make sense? I don't know. But it's really easy to work with and you can build up to good opacity as well. This palette itself, the Spectra palette, um, I just think is an amazing standalone palette. I can't wait to try it like on its own, just create looks just with the one but at the moment I'm thoroughly enjoying playing with the both of them together so I'm just going to create the kind of shape with the black I do have to say I am packing on this black and I have no fallout whatsoever which is pretty good. Um, I'm doing my eyes first anyways. That's just generally how I like to do it. And then I haven't got to be so careful when doing my eyeshadow. Just sheer laziness, I think. And then to blend out the black or to go on next is Butterfly Kisses, the purple. I have in my head what, what it is I want the look to look like kinda um we'll see we shall see i may change my mind i do that a lot which is why i don't i don't like to tell you what i'm gonna do because uh yeah it doesn't always go that way anyways i've used this purple a couple of times now i think um it is beautiful it's a really nice purple I think this colour story, to be fair, is just a really nice colour story. It caters to everyone. You have got some neutrals in there and then you've got it's kind of more muted, muted shades, brighter shades. You've got pretty much a mix of everything in there. So far, all of the shadows I have tried have been pigmented and blended really well, not patchy. All good, all good things. Um, I haven't been into the neutrals as yet. I say as yet. I'd say it's probably quite unlikely. I'm not a neutrals fan. But I am trying. I'm trying to do the odd neutral look here and there. Just, yeah, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Um, my wonderful friend Nicole, um, who actually has her own channel now, which I will link 
in the description box below. Um, Nicole, I think, is determined to convince me that neutrals are just as much fun as colour. So, time will tell. I did say to her, don't hold your breath. <laughs> but we'll see. I'm, I'm open. I'm open to trying. The problem is, I don't feel... I don't feel like me in neutral colours and plus I for me the colour using the colours is like a therapy so brown just yeah doesn't really kind of invoke any like feelings of happiness or you know anything like that okay this is really pretty and then I am going to go straight in with sci-fi. This is either going to work or it's not. But there's only one way to find out. I think this is going to work. Yeah. I do really like this yellow. It is a bit powdery, but... That's okay because it goes on, it goes on beautifully. I mean, that's a good yellow. It keeps its vibrancy also, doesn't lose that. Like once put on the eyes. Yeah, okay, I think this is good. definitely starting to take shape it's definitely going in the direction that I was hoping it would you never know unless you try and at the end of the day it's makeup it washes off if you don't like it you can uh, yeah wash it off and start again but you only discover if something works and if you like it if you try it Then going back into Butterfly Kisses, the purple, and I'm just going to get that back vibrant and just slowly kind of feather it into, into that yellow a bit. Yeah, I like how that's looking. I do love how this yellow is really holding its vibrancy, even when I'm blending this purple kind of into it. And then just back into the black Corbin, just to make sure that we've still got that depth right in the crease there. And just blend that into the, into the purple. Okay. So I'm going to quickly pop on some of my Kyma Cosmetics Glitter Primer and then we'll continue with the lids. So just stay where you are. Okay, so Glitter Primer on. So now going into the Galactic Gourmand palette. And I am first going to go into Celestial. I'm super, super excited to try this. Yeah, just two left that I haven't tried yet. Oh, oh, look at that shift. Oh, 
Oh, that is stunning. Like blue, turquoise, green. Look at that. Okay, that is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to take that most of the way in. Just leaving this kind of area open. So I've got, oh, it's got purple in as well, I think. This is stunning. See, in the pan, you, you wouldn't know that they were going to behave this way this way that you wouldn't know they had all of these shifts in and I've been so good and not swatched up until um filming which was hard I tell you very hard but it was so worth it so I think seeing it on on the eyes is so much better than kind of in a swatch anyways because look look at that that's like magic and then the only one we have left to try is comets and let's see what this does next to that shade this is that same kind of flakiness as um, the M81 and so it's not as easy to pick up on the brush but again so worth it wow yeah I didn't see that coming in the pan you can see the green the strongest but then on my eye here it's the the purple that's really really showing up wow oh i wasn't expecting that at all that's beautiful absolutely beautiful oh, look at that. I'm just gonna kind of take it over the join a bit now just to kind of blend them in oh which they do beautifully they've both got that kind of the same green if that makes sense so beautiful yeah I think these shades were kind of made to go together okay, that is stunning I'm going to I'm gonna go back into the black from the Spectra palette Corbin and just kind of take that into the edge of the shimmer there just to kind of mesh them a little bit Yeah, that is absolutely stunning. I'm going to quickly pop on my base. We'll clean up and pop on my base. And then we'll come down to do the lower lash line with you guys. So just stay where you are. Okay, so I've done my base. Everything that I've popped on my face will be listed in the description box below. And I'm going to go into Corbin, the black. And I'm just taking just a little bit of that right up against the outer part of the lash line there. Okay, and then into, do I want to keep it purple and yellow? Yeah, I think I do. And then into Butterfly Kisses. And that's 
just to blend the edges of that black. This purple is so pretty and super happy. Super happy. I'm I'm loving um, playing with these two palettes. Both are just so much fun, and together, I think together they're pretty magical. And then going into Sci-Fi the Yellow. I'm just going to use that to just blow it all out. Yeah, this, this yellow is really good. Really good. And obviously now it's going on a set base. That underneath and it's still looking just as vibrant it's a good yellow take that all the way around and it all all kind of joins joins up nicely yeah that is looking pretty now what do i want to do Hmm. Do you know what? I think the shimmer I'm going to go into for my lower lash line is going to be Pink Sand. I think that's going to look beautiful. I am going to spray that so I don't get any fallout. This is beautiful. I love that I've got like the purple, the blue and the green, just, and the pink all together. <laughs> Some of my favorite color combinations there. All in one eye. Yeah, that's looking really pretty. And then for my inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm going to go into Twilight. And again, I am going to spray the brush. It's quite a bit of hair on that. I'm just dragging it kind of up and into the lid, the upper lid, just to kind of blend it all, blend it all in together. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of the same, a little bit of the same. I'm just going to pop some of that under my brow. When I say some, I mean a lot. <laughs> Clearly. I think my some or my little bit always ends up being a lot. I can't help it. They're so pretty. If they weren't so pretty, I wouldn't want to. That's my argument. I'm sticking with it. My argument, my defence. Yeah, that is looking beautiful. Okay, guys, so I'm going to nip off and finish my face. Then I'll come back to show you finished look number three and have a chat with you about my first thoughts, my first impressions. It's more than just first impressions, isn't it? I'll let you know what I think of both the Spectra palette and the Galactic Gourmand palette. 
so yeah if you would like to see that and hear all that then don't go anywhere so guys this is look number three the final look with these two palettes let me know what you think in the comment section below which looks your favorite one two or three i i can't choose i think i love all three of them let's let's have a chat about the palettes um everything else i've popped on my face will be listed in the description box below for if you want to check that out and i'm gonna start with i say the surprise but the spectra palette which is the collaboration between gorman girls and crystal rice makeup um first of all it's packaging i love this green um but yeah i think it's really cool the palette itself i mean it, it is a beautiful color story but it's not until you use it that you really see just how good it is if that makes sense i mean i've got the sugar shop palette from gorman girls and i love it um but there's something magical in this one i don't know what it is but I just I just want to keep picking it up and playing with it and this shade here Twilight it is gorgeous it's a perfect inner corner brow bone highlight and then fantasy I think fantasy has to be my favorite shade in the palette closely followed by sci-fi um sci-fi was a bit powdery but it's a yellow it's just so vibrant so beautiful Every single shade that I've used from this palette performed beautifully, was pigmented, blended out like a dream. Yeah, a little bit in love with this palette. Um, this palette is actually, as I'm filming this, I've just had a look on the website. Um, so it's normally 35 US dollars, but at the moment this is on sale for 25 US dollars. Um, I'm not sure if it's still going to be when the video goes up, but just in case and well worth it I think it's well worth the $35 um, that it is originally up for but yeah absolutely stunning gorgeous palette and then the Galactic Gourmand um, it's super cute it's just this little package of beautifulness I know that's not a word um, these shades are I mean in the pan in the pan they look amazing you can I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to show the shifts in the pan you can see the shifts I think you can on there to a degree um, but you don't actually really get it until you put it on your eyes um, even swatches don't quite I don't know they're just six little magical, magical fairy dust shades. I don't know, but it, every single one of these is absolutely stunning. I'm super, super impressed. Um, both Comet and M81, they're both slightly, well, slightly, they're flaky, but I don't know how to explain it, but they're, they're flakier. And slightly more difficult to pick up on a brush but so worth it because the payoff is just dreamy absolutely gorgeous this this palette is just beautiful I have no other words um, it does retail for $34.99 US dollars and yeah guys I highly recommend it highly recommend it. it is just yeah I love it I love it and I have had so much fun creating the three looks that I have for you obviously you see them all today um, but for me it's been over different days and I love them they've lasted well into the evening on the days that I've filmed these looks obviously this one I don't know yet but the other two looks when I got to the end of the day still look beautiful yeah highly recommend them so yeah guys i think that is about enough from me if you have enjoyed this video please do give it a like if you are new and not subscribed already if you love colorful makeup supporting indie brands 
maybe discovering some indie brands that you hadn't heard of, then please do hit the subscribe button and come and join my beautiful chameleon family. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Bye. And so far, all of... <sighs> Fucking hell. Not the mice. Where do I get mice from? Oh, I don't know. Not all the mice, what was I going to say?